What's up, everybody? This is O to the A from Batissimo, and today we are going to be talking about using Facebook Live or Facebook Gaming with Batissimo Chatbot. Cool, so go ahead and get logged into your Batissimo account. If you don't have an account already, you can head over to batissimo.com slash sign up and you can create an account there. Uh, once you get logged in, head over to the connections page here and you'll see any connections that you may already have connected to your account. But what we're going to be looking at today is how to connect to Facebook. So the first thing we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll click on add new see some options for some platforms and we want to go with this guy the facebook live icon so once you click on the facebook live icon you'll be redirected to facebook to authenticate your account and you'll be presented with the facebook pages that you are administrator for so Batissimo is only able to run its features on a Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page, you'll want to kind of uh, rewind, go over to Facebook, create a page, and then come back here and make sure that you select that page to give us permission to access it. So I'm going to use my test page here, Luna Doge. And then here's the permissions that we need to do all of our sweet Bautissimo things. Uh, if you turn any of these off, it's uh, it's probably not going to work right. Cool. Now we are linked. Once we get linked, we'll be redirected back over to the Bautissimo connection page where we were before. And we'll see our Facebook channel connected. All right. So one of the things that's a little different between Facebook and, say, Twitch, for example, is that you don't just have... Uh, a single channel right like you can have many pages so we give you the opportunity to select if you have multiple pages here and you want to be able to change between them uh, once we've selected the page that we want to be active in we can turn it on all right we'll wait for the indicator there we go okay so something else that's different, different between Facebook and say Twitch or YouTube is that you don't really have a live chat. You just have comments that are attached to live videos. So anytime that you're not streaming, you don't really have a chat like how you do in Twitch. Um, if you're unfamiliar, then in Twitch, you have a channel that the chat is always available in. Uh, anyways, on Facebook, it's only available when there's a live stream. So what we'll see here is a little yellow warning indicator, or it's not really a warning, but just kind of telling you, hey, there's no live chat right now. Uh, so this will turn green like this one when there's a chat to connect to and you're streaming live. So let's do that. So this is my, this is my iPad being error air casted or air played or whatever over uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start a live video to our to our Luna Doge page right so live video and start live video all right we are live okay and then Batissimo can take up to a couple of minutes to detect your live stream. Uh, Facebook has an API rate limit, so we're only able to request information from their server so often uh, so that we don't get, you know, temporarily disabled from using their services. So we check every couple of minutes, so sometimes it can take a minute. Uh, we'll wait and see how that goes. All right, there we go. We got a green light. That didn't take too long maybe one minute one and a half minutes all right now that we got a green light that means that we are streaming live on facebook and bautissimo is connected so let's head over to our facebook channel or facebook page and check out our live video okay. 
All right, here we are. Okay, so we just got a blacked out video. Nothing really going on here, but let's send our old trusty ping command out and see if we can't get a response from Botsissimo. And there we go, we get a Pong back, which is what we expect. So you can see that Bautissimo is able to monitor the chat and respond to commands. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just make sure that if you do have any commands that already exist, go make sure that they're enabled on Facebook. Same thing for any timers, things like that. So if you've created a Facebook for the first time, then you may need to enable those platforms on your um, different commands and stuff. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was the custom bot aspect. Uh, this The custom bot feature is available to master members and you'll find it over on the settings page over here in the custom bot section. Okay, so what is a custom bot? It's basically just another account on the platform that we use that we you know that you authenticate with us and then we use it to send messages on your behalf. So it's a great way to sort of uh, instead of using Bautissimo to send messages you can use like the example here I suck at guitar bot. So anytime a message is sent in Twitch it actually uses that account instead of the um, instead of the Bautissimo account. So it's, it's available to master members if you wanna upgrade to get this feature. Now, the Facebook bot, custom bot, works a little bit different. Um, Facebook does not allow us to post on your page as other people's pages. So it's to prevent, and it's to prevent, you know, people from spamming around Facebook uh, using different pages. We are only allowed to post on your page with our um, our page, the Bautissimo page, or we can post it with your page. So that's what we can have available to you as a custom bot. Now, if you want to enable that, you just come over here to the settings page, come to the custom bot section, and you click on link Facebook bot. Now, what that's going to do is open up this little modal and it will explain Facebook only allows for your page to be the custom bot. So we're not gonna send you through any sort of authentication here. You will just say, yes, I want to enable it and it will be enabled. And if you want to turn it off for whatever reason, you can always come over here and turn it off by using this little red button. Okay, and so to see how that works, we can come over and we should now see that our bot responds as Luna Doge, not as Bautissimo. But if you remember from some other videos, the other custom bot video, if you've seen that one, then you know that Bautissimo does not respond to itself. So once you set up your page as the custom bot, you can't use the chat as your custom page anymore because that's, that is now the bot. I know that may be confusing, but it just, it's to prevent people from creating infinite loops where you create a command that triggers a response that calls a command that triggers a response and so on. Um, so what you have to do to use this thing is you have to go to your personal uh, Facebook account and chat as that instead. So we'll see now. I'll come in here. I'll send the trusty ping command out. We should get a response back from Luna Doge the page. So there you go. That's the custom cabot. <laughs> custom cabot. The custom bot in action. Cool. All right. And then if you want to turn it off, of course, you can just turn off the switch here, or you can actually select disable to unselect your page completely. So yeah. I hope that that kind of explains some of the unique aspects of the Facebook integration and helps you guys get started on that. Uh, thanks for watching.